Good morning, Patrick. Uh, Nineteen forty-two here. This didn't disappear. Okay. Um, welcome to episode two of my super hostile sea of flame playthrough. This is Patrick of PB and J Craft, and I'm just kidding up right now to go take on uh, the first dungeon, as I mentioned at the end of the last video that that would be my plan for this video. Uh, but I realized I ha I didn't show how uh, show my setup during my tour. I didn't show my setup here of growing things. This is a somewhat standard setup for me. Um, half slabs. Um, half slabs over water with the dirt blocks in between. Uh, I don't know that it's the most efficient um, use of space, but it works pretty well. So I haven't found reason to to change how I do it yet. The nice thing is, like when I was doing my playthrough of, uh, or when I was playing Legendary, the problem is, or one of the problems, is that you're so far away from things. I would leave and go do something and then come back and none of my plants have grown because I was out of range of them. Uh, good. Just checking to see if I had a poisonous potato. But I don't, so that's good. Um, so, I'm going to go take on that first dungeon. I have armor on, which is good quality. Oh, I need more torches. Here's some more torches, here's some more wood. Um, that's probably good. I'm obviously taking an excessive amount of of arrows, just in case. I've got a good iron sword here. I'm going to grab a few more pieces of, uh, oh that's what I was going to do, just put basic level and chance on, can I have less than that, perfect, I used to put like level threes on them if I could and then I realized I'm just wasting because anything between like one and five you're not actually going to get anything. Uh, anything any different than just efficiency one. Okay. It's sort of a waste to leave those zombie um, pigmen there, but at the same time, they're not going anywhere. A lot of how I think about Minecraft is determined by the availability of the resources, which I think is, I think that's the core of Minecraft. How do you balance renewable resources and non-renewable resources? Like I have diamond armor, I could put diamond armor right now, but I have a limited amount of diamond armor, whereas I'm never going to run out of gold. So, it, it you know, it doesn't make sense to, um, to use the limited gold I have or limited diamond I have you know to do the dungeon for the white wool I'm sure I have far too many um, stone axes somewhere around but I just figured I might use a little bit more wood than I currently have doing this next dungeon So what I know of the next dungeon, from when I went in there, uh, I don't remember. I don't remember too too clearly from when I actually beat the dungeon, the first time I played through, uh, in the old, in one of the older versions of Minecraft. I do know from when I went down in there uh, the other day that uh, 
there's a gas spawner down there. There's a glass wall hiding lava. And um, there's a lot of mobs. Is that really all the all the leaves you're gonna give me? Saplings. I just found out you can burn saplings, which is fantastic because saplings are one of the most worthless things on the map. Because they they just there's there's lots of them and they don't go anywhere. You always use more than you have, or you always lose. That was incorrect. You always use less than you have. So there's got to be something to do with all the leftover saplings. It turns out you can burn them, which makes sense. I, I probably could have guessed that. However, I didn't. So, just heading over here into area obsidian spires. This glowstone marks the way down. I already put a few ladders in here. And I think a toolbox and not a toolbox. Stone chest. I'm looking for words and I'm not getting words. This thing. This is a creeper spawner, which I could probably get rid of. I don't see any reason to think that I would still need it for anything. Ooh, that would not make me happy. See, the guest, spa the guest spawner is somewhere down in there. So I want to come far enough here that I don't have to deal with it. So that it's not going to keep spawning ghasts. You know, while I'm trying to get set up here. This is just to, so I don't get shot off. Actually, I could probably do this. Get a little backdrop there. Doesn't look like there's anything there right now. Um, <laughs> There we go. This way I can see down without being in danger of falling down. Hey guys. Now, what do I need? Probably need a ladder up. But I'll just use sand when I need to get back up. Since I have it for now. Holes in the floor. Not too pleasant. Oh. So the one thing to be concerned about is if the gas decides where'd you go um, hmm. if the gas decides to shoot toward the glass and lava that is not going to be good where are you guessed I 
I think from here I should be out of range of the gas spawner. And I'm being quiet again. I'm sorry. Do, 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 do. So there's not a real shortage of coal in this map, which is nice. Um, what is that? Sharpness three. That's a nice. That's a nice sword. Uh, I'm gonna just make some more torches here quickly before I venture too much further. No. Okay. Oh, that's what I didn't want to do. I wanted to not make more ghasts. Try not to do that, Ghast. That's better. Okay. Okay, so there's the Ghast spawner. The best way to deal with it might be to... Thank you. As long as you didn't destroy my path doing that, not concerned. Um, again, I'm, I'm still getting used to this talking talking while playing thing. Um, and so I can, when I'm concentrating, I keep going silent. So the guest spawner is right on the other side. You're not... Okay, fine. Have it your way. Not safe enough to uh, get in there. <clears throat> I was told that I need to talk a little bit louder. Um, I'm used to just muttering to myself. When I talk to... When I talk to mobs, which is frequent. I'm I talk quietly. I just kind of mutter. Oh, I forgot. There's another little cavern down here. Uh, it's over right where that spider is, I think. Nope, no doubt over there. There's another. Oh, the spider's coming for me. Fine. I'll deal with you. I just, I just really want to take care of this. Now inside all of these, if, if I'm correct, then inside all of these um, sandstone little chambers are spawners. I think I originally thought, like in Legendary, there's just so much sandstone. I thought, what a useless building material. But because of how easy it is to um to break it's it's actually pretty nice it's useful for building but then you can undo you can undo what you've built with relative ease 
So if you just need temporary structures, it's perfect. I just backed away from the computer physically when that creeper was blowing up. Always a good move. Guest here. Wait, oh, I destroyed the guest spawner. That was exactly what I didn't want to do. I just wanted to light it up. How foolish of me. I told myself I was going to farm guest here from that. And then promptly totally forgot. We're just about safe enough here to actually get the wool out. Hey, dude. Oh, you have another guest here for me? Well, thank you. That's so generous of you. I should probably give myself a little time to regenerate some health. But. But I'm not. Oh, you guys are all stuck up there, aren't you? That's so sad. Wow, shot by the remains of your dead cousins. Poor guy. What a way to go. Thank you for the experience, though. A little dark over here. A little dark here. Hey, dude. Okay. Well, that takes care of all the spawners. There's still a good amount of, obviously, coal to be cleared out, but that doesn't need to be done uh, while filming. All that's left for us to do, oop, it's a little dark. Okay, a little dark here, a little dark, a little dark. I'm not making sure that I do the most efficient job of lighting this up. <coughs> um, I probably actually lit it more. <coughs> Sorry about that. I uh, tried to move my microphone. I don't know if that worked. Uh, probably not doing the most efficient job of lighting this up, but I just, I, I probably could have actually left more dark. I'm just putting these here so that I remember not to ever just run over this edge and fall and get hurt. White wool. I just don't want too many mobs to be in here when I come back. I probably put too much light in, um, and that I'm gonna have to deal with more monsters in the next cavern because of that. But that happens. Doo -doo -doo. I'll leave that here. I'll leave all this here actually for dealing with the next cavern and I'll just take back what I need oh well mr. zombie waiting for me this is probably not ideal to be attempting to come back through here at night particularly because I've made no effort to light up this island at all Okay, no, th you're not what I wanted to have happen. Good. That's not enough. Okay. That's also... I tried to jump. It was ineffective. Brilliant. I don't die at all. The whole time I'm actually getting the wool. But then... When I'm just walking back, 
over an area that I lamely failed to light up, then I die. What a shame. Uh, I need to figure out how to do a little jump cuts where I just cut out five minutes of something so that you don't have to watch it. Like when I walk back here, which is not really dangerous. Mobs do spawn in this area, uh, but not enough that it really presents a concern. I can always outrun them. So that was that was the white wool, which we'll go pick up now and place in the victory monument. Not too bad. I like the setup. I like that Vex used materials, uh, i.e. the coal, to make the terrain um, something something worth you know worth fighting through. Given that there's a lot of monsters down here, we might not want to try and immediately come back out. Great. This is this is unideal. Um, get out of here. Fantastic. This is why I should have used that opportunity of the fact it was dark to set my spawn point down there while I could. And of course, now there's more mobs because I've run through here twice and I've been outside the 25 block range. As you probably know or may not know, natural mobs those things. Mobs that don't need spawners to spawn. Um, need to spawn tw more than 25 blocks away from the player. So any area in the map that's dark right now and more than 25 blocks away from me but less than I don't know, less than 138 or something has the possibility of spawning natural mobs, creepers, skeletons, spiders, and zombies, and endermen. I think that's it, those five. So because I was closer to the area before, there were fewer mobs. Uh, now that I'm further from the area, there's more mobs to deal with. Of course, now it's morning. So mobs will be less of a problem in a minute. That creeper exploding might have destroyed all my stuff. No? Okay. There's a skeleton right down there. Oh, it was just close to him. Um, which I... Ow. Less than ideal. Even more less than ideal. Okay. Still in decent condition. That I never wanted. That's food. That's wool. That's everything I had. Marvelous. I was really actually afraid that the creeper would have. Now it's not night anymore. That the creeper would have blown up all that stuff when he blew up in there. Let me place the ladder. So I'll have to make a, a better traveling out of there method. As I mentioned in a prior video, I have just a stupid number of, of arrows and bone meal. But it's not going to stop me from 
continually getting more. Okay, so that made probably a, a significant percentage of the video was me running back from dying twice. Uh, stupid deaths, but fair deaths for the game. Um, deaths I, I, I should have been able to avoid. If I just decided to sleep and set my spawn point, those deaths would have been totally avoidable. So here we are, Victor Monument. And White Wall. There we go. I forget the name of that area already. So we'll have to go through that area and go down and find what's below that. And that'll be next episode. This is Patrick of PB&J Craft signing off.